from the fact that it's a scam meant to cheat people out of their hard-earned money by convincing them to invest in virtual earth tiles in which these developers have complete control of the value, or that their own terms of service states that they can pack up and take your money with them at any given time, or even that most of its positive media coverage comes from this guy, Area Realty, or Steve, a guy who drives a Tesla and is known to stalk and harass women online while being married. Earth 2 is a disaster. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Uncle Sam's Devil. Let's get into this. A storm has been swirling around this project for a while now, and I've been really interested in seeing how all of it plays out. Big Fry, among others such as Sid Alpha, Kira TV, and Upper Echelon Gaming have done a phenomenal job covering the scheme that is Earth 2. So much so that when Big Fry delivered a kill shot covering the piece of garbage that is Area Realty by going over his history of harassing females on games and in discords, I thought that Earth 2 would go underground for a while. Strangely enough, that is not what has happened at all. Now, let's go back in time for a minute. Big Fry TV over the years has previously criticized a game called Civil Contract and its developer, Various Benson, aka Tanner Rosenkovic. Now, this guy is a known thief, scam artist, and an atrocious developer who issued DMCA strikes and threatened legal action against several YouTubers who spoke negatively about his game. I'll link Big Fry's video covering this abomination of a dev and his game in the description. His game has since been pulled off of Steam, and Tanner claimed that he was about to join the Australian military in about a month. Since then, however, this asset flip developer, who is incapable of creating an original product, has managed to be hired onto, guess what, the Earth 2 dev team. While that team and their supporters continuously attack anyone who questions the validity of their garbage product. I think you can see where this is going. This morning, Tanner's community manager apparently reached out to Big Fry, leaking a call in which Tanner talks about Big Fry and Sid Alpha's coverage of Civil Contract. He plays the victim and says that since he was only 16 years old and a minor at the time of Big Fry's coverage of Civil Contract, and because Big Fry shared DMs from Tanner during that time on a YouTube video, he violated YouTube's terms of service. He then goes on to say that instead of filing a privacy report with YouTube, the CEO of Earth2, Shane Isaac, has his law firm getting a case together for a defamation lawsuit involving Big Fry's history with Tanner, as well as the current Earth2 coverage, and that they will be sending cease and desist letters to YouTube as a means to remove Big Fry and Sid Alpha from the platform entirely, as well as Twitter and Discord. Here's a clip from the call discussing this which is a further breach of the law in Canada. It's one thing to record it, and it's another thing to actually share it publicly. Then there's other part that I was also a minor, because even I can't give consent, even if I did, because I'm, too, I'm not old enough to give consent. And then there's also a TOS violation to share. You can't, you can't share direct messages, yeah. It's like if I'm on Instagram or Discord, if you, I can take screenshots, but I can't go ahead and upload that to YouTube, which is what they did. What was the TOS that broke? So in the TOS, I can, I'll, someone showed me on their screen share, but I'll find it and I'll send you. It says that it is against terms and service to make videos um, against y the youth. So if like it pretty much says you you can't deceive this minors, you can't. Do, this is basic, just YouTube oh, TOS. YouTube TOS. Yeah, and because I've seen the videos, he's like Tanner Rosankovich is a scammer, shitty dev, and you know it goes under that. TOS violation. So what they're doing, instead of me just going ahead and chucking a privacy report and getting all the videos taken down, yeah. they're Shane, the CEO, uh, he's got his law firm getting a big case together and he's going to instead of using the user interface, you know, like just clicking report, selecting what it is, he's getting the law firm to send an email directly to YouTube with a cease and desist order. So that will make YouTube, you know, take it down instantly because obviously they're, they're not going to protect these people because, you know, it's a, it's a, a law suit for law firm. Um, and also Shane is also going ahead and doing defamation lawsuits on his own on his own thing um, against Big Fry. So that will mean that Big Fry, Sid Alpha, um, and yeah, Big Big Fry and Sid Alpha, their Twitter and disc and Discord servers and 
YouTube channels will all be taken down. He also says that Earth 2 CEO Shane Isaac is willing to put down three to four million dollars towards this lawsuit to get Big Fright and Sid Alpha's channels shut down and to take them to court. And Shane's ridiculous. He's got like 50. He's, he already told me he's willing to put three to four million in. <laughs> so he's like, you know, Big Fry doesn't have that type of money. I, 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 we've done our research on him and he, he doesn't. He still is with his parents, unfortunately. So it's, it's going to be a tough luck for him. But he kind of put I'm himself in this situation. Lie. Tenor then goes on to claim that Big Fry's channel is view botted and that he bought his subscribers and that they have proof of this as well. So because of up, he's what, not. What ended up happening with the view botting? If you don't mind me asking. Like. Uh, what do you mean? I remember you telling me about you oh, yeah, 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 yeah. YouTube is making yeah. view bottings and you're reporting him to YouTube and stuff. And what, yeah, what that's actually also happened part of that? Did, like, did you end up reporting him to YouTube? What happened to the. Uh, I, there's no point reporting <clears throat> to YouTube because they won't look at it, but that's also going in in the email from the law firm directly to YouTube. They'll suggest that they look over these people because, and they'll show what we've got evidence-wise of your body. But either way, there's so much stuff stacked against him being TOS violations, multiple TOS violations, you know, law breaches with privacy and whatnot. Yeah. So his YouTube channel will just get shut banned. Then oh. there's no there's no appeal process for that. The only way he can fight it is in court. And I mean, Shane's got like at the at the moment a net worth of 58 million euros. Where and are they going to go to court? Like, I'm genuinely curious about in, this. In Canada, it will be in Canada. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to Canada. Um. Now, I'll go ahead and say, I have been subscribed to Big Fry and watched his content since he was an extremely small channel. But I am not some Big Fry fanboy, and he actually put a video of mine up on a Twitch live stream previously and criticized my take on some of the Dead Matter devs and how they acted nearly a year ago. So the two of us don't always see eye to eye. However, I've watched his channel grow and the content improve over the years, and the growth is organic, the views are real, and at the end of the day, it is extremely easy to prove that his channel isn't botted through analytics. Paid subscribers don't watch videos, and paid viewers only watch about 30 seconds to a minute of them. So though I don't think Big Fry should give that accusation the time of day, YouTube can tell what is and is not a botted channel. Tanner Rosenkovic claims that all of this is the support for what will end up being a lawsuit taking place in Canada, in which Earth2 CEO Shane Isaac, with his apparent 58 million euro net worth, will be taking Big Fry and Sid Alpha to court. The takeaway from all this, Earth 2 is still a scheme being developed by people who are incapable of taking any sort of criticism, whose supporters levy and support death threats towards content creators, and who have zero professional experience which would allow them to create this end-all be-all game that they are advertising. Oh, and Tana Rosenkovic? He's still a scam artist, asset flip developer, incapable of creating his own functional project or even settling his own disputes with people who criticize him. So he has to try to get others to shut people's speech down for him. It's the mark of a coward. I personally don't believe he is joining the Australian military, but if Tanner does, someone with his lack of values and courage won't make it in any first world military branch in the world. You can't shut down free speech, for every content creator you try to silence, another one of us will sprout up and carry the same message forward with even more intensity. You wanted a war? You got one. And you will lose. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Uncle Sam's Devil, and I'll see you in the next one.